Hey everybody, welcome to another math question of the day with me, Brian, and we are going to get started right away. All right, we are going to solve 4x minus 2x minus 4 equals 12 minus 3x plus 2. Is it A, x equals 14 fifths, B, x equals 2, C, x equals 6 fifths, or D, x equals 18 fifths? Hit pause right here so you can try this problem on your own, and then See if you got it right. So I'll give you a few seconds to hit pause right now. All right, let's get into our answer explanation. But right before that we do, make sure that you head over to nerdsub.com, check out our courses across all content areas for HESI and the T's, as well as like and subscribe to all of our videos here for question of the day to make sure that you stay the most up to date on all things that we are working through together. So in terms of this problem, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to just start to distribute some of our numbers, right? We're going to clean things up because we know that we're trying to get X on one side. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is have to distribute right here. Now, when you have a negative sign outside of a parentheses, it is like you have an imaginary one there. So what we're doing is distributing that negative one to both numbers on the inside. So we're going to keep the four X that we had in the front. We have negative one times two X, which is going to give us a negative two X. And we have a negative one times a negative four, which ends up as a positive four. So we have four X minus two X plus four on the left. Now we're gonna do the same thing over on the right side. Same idea, we have a minus sign in front of a parentheses, which means we can put a one there in case you like to see it that way. The 12 is gonna stay the same. We now have negative one times three X, which gives us minus three X. And we have negative one times a positive two, which leaves us with a minus two. All right, so we're gonna clean up the left side, clean up the right side, and by clean up, we mean combine like terms. So in this case, I can combine 4x minus 2x, which gives us 2x plus four equals, we have 12 minus two, which gives us 10 minus three x, because 12 minus two was 10. Now, we are going to bring all of the x's to one side and all of our constants to the other. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides. 3x and 3x, those are going to cancel. And we are then left with 5x plus 4 equals 10. Subtract 4 from both sides. 4's cancel. We're left with 5x equals 6. Divide by 5, divide by 5, and we get x equals 6 fifths. All right, how'd you do? Did you get this one right? All right, we've come to the end of another question of the day with me, Brian. I cannot wait to see you next time, and best of luck. See you later.